Hey everyone, I hope everybody is having a great Wednesday. I wanted to come on here and talk about reversing disease and how you can do that with just one essential nutrient, uh, vitamin, that's not all that expensive. And um, disease is caused by the oxidization of cells. And reversing that oxidation reverses uh, disease. And missing electrons cause that oxidation. And that one nutrient that can reverse it all uh, is vitamin C. Now, this has been largely suppressed or ignored, but it is the primary donor of those missing electrons that help you to reverse oxidation. And it also, vitamin C is also essential to help mitochondria to produce energy. So vitamin C is essential to helping fuel your body. It also helps to protect and boost uh, glutathione production in your body, which as I've mentioned numerous times, that is a master antioxidant in your body and it is essential to keeping your immune system strong. Uh, vitamin C is a potent antioxidant, antiviral, antibacterial, and it's also essential for collagen synthesis, so it's a great anti-ager and great for your skin, keeping it glowing and looking great. Um, so there's about 80 years of data on that's been largely ignored and suppressed. And why, of course, because it can't be patented, uh, you can't make a lot of money off of it. Our, our uh, health industry is not a health industry, it is a disease industry. So when keeping yourself in healthy, you have to do your own research. And, and don't take my, my word for this. I've gotten my information from a Dr. Thomas Levy, a doctor, and a Dr. Andrew Soule. They have cited numerous doctors, numerous case studies, such as vitamin C cures AIDS, vitamin C cures polio, high doses of vitamin C. Uh, Dr. William J. McCormick showed that vitamin C deficiency uh, was, part, was the cause of white, weak collagen in blood vessels. And by significantly increasing your vitamin C dosage, it uh, repaired those cell walls, strengthened the cell walls, and reversed heart disease. He also did publish a paper showing that 4,500 milligrams of vitamin C uh, intake daily kept you just above scurvy. <laughs> and what are the symptoms of scurvy? Uh, and you'll be surprised, actually. There's a long list of it. Depression, uh, bleeding gums, gingivitis, neuropathy, joint pain and swelling, fatigue, easy bruising, a weakened immune system, of course, frequent nosebleeds, dry scaly skin, dry sweat hair, and that's just the short list. So as you can see, majority of us, or if not all of us, are in a severe vitamin C deficiency because that is... The oxidation is caused by that uh, lack of that essential nutrient. Um, then there's also Dr. Frederick Robert Klenner who showed and proved that it cures MS and pneumonia and, it, and the list goes on. Even right here in Wichita, Kansas, where I'm from, uh, we have the Rorden Clinic and Dr. Rorden and people come from all over the world to get high infusion uh, vitamin C injections, which cures cancer and all manner of disease. So you can see that you can reverse disease as caused by oxidization by increasing your vitamin C intake. Uh, now, what is too much vitamin C? Vitamin C actually has no toxicity. One of the few vitamins that doesn't, you can't take too much of it. You'll know that uh, when you can back off when it does, one thing it does cause is diarrhea. So if you've gotten to that, now you're at optimum levels and you can back it off a little bit. Um, the best way to take it is by liposomal uh, or encapsulated vitamin C. And the reason being is because that transports it directly into the cell and works far better. And if, in fact, you don't have to take as much because 
um, it's shown that if you, uh, like 1,000 milligrams of liposomal, liposomal vitamin C is equivalent to about 8,000 to 10,000 milligrams of the regular ascorbic vitamin C, which just goes into the bloodstream and then you excrete a lot of it in your urine. So you have to take considerably more of it if it's the ascorbic uh, vitamin C. So, but high doses are essential on daily intake. Uh, but again, the best way to take it is in a liposomal format because it's gonna go directly in to uh, the blood cells. Um, Another thing that I would say, and this is just a side note, I don't even know why I'm throwing this in here, but don't ever, and it was because I was doing some of my own research, and I've stumbled across this several times, but don't ever get your health research from, or health information from WebMD. They are a shill for Big Pharma, and they will say the exact opposite of what the true data is. So if it's having anything to do with a, a natural vitamin or natural way to heal yourself, Big Pharma has paid them to say that it doesn't work or it's toxic or it's bad for you. So just don't ever get your information there. And then of course, the bare minimum, just to keep today in today's world, just to keep your, uh, your uh, immune system as strong as possible, um, the essentials, vitamin Z, t C, top of the list, uh, vitamin D3 with K2, Magnesium, um, which just like vitamin D, uh, your cells require that to function properly, and zinc, I also would say alpha lipoic acid as well. Um, those are just, you know, just to keep you round, just a round good amount of supplements to just keep you healthy and keep you out of the fray, hopefully, of all the things that are going on right now. So I hope you found that helpful, and I'll see you guys again next time.